So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu everyone. Um, uh, welcome uh, to all the young learners that we are talking to. Uh, we are a group of individuals from GIK Institute. Uh, we are a part of the outreach team of GIK Institute. And uh, today, via this brief presentation, uh, we want to give you a glimpse of, uh, you know, uh, what type of programs do we offer here? And uh, you know what type of uh, life the students who reside here they experience. Uh, so, in this slide, me you can see you know it's an aerial view of uh, uh, GIK. Uh, you can see that you you know we are lucky enough to live in this uh, lush green setting. Uh, you know, in the backdrop, you can see the Bela Dam and and the mountains, uh, and uh, you know. These are the faculty buildings that you can see here. And right now we are talking from one of uh, the faculty buildings here. Uh, so if you get to come to GIK Institute, you will be uh, you know, um, experiencing this uh, atmosphere and which many of the students, uh, they cherish once they graduate. So if I move to, so this is the outline for the talk today. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to start with the introductions. Um, and my name is Dr. Asad Mahmood. I'm from the Faculty of Engineering Sciences. And uh, with me is uh, Engineer Sip. He's a lecturer in the same faculty. And then we have Mr. Vakas from the admissions office, who can offer some of your queries related to the admission process. And then we also have engineer Mohsen, uh, who you probably cannot see in the camera, but uh, you know uh, he is also here facilitating this uh, particular talk. Um, so you, as you can see from the outline of the talk, first we are going to give you a, a brief introduction about the different faculties uh, at GIK and the different programs which are offered here. And then uh, Sibthul Hassan is going to talk about, uh, you know, the life on campus as experienced by the students. And then Vakal Saab is going to, you know, talk about the admission uh, policies and process. And then lastly, we're going to uh, conduct the Q&A session. So you can write your questions and, uh, uh, you know, we can, uh, at the end of the session, we can answer them. Uh, I don't know if you have the facility to have them on the chat. We have the facility on the chat. Okay, so if you can also pose your questions uh, during the talk uh, on the chat as well, we can take those questions and then we can, you know, answer them all together at the end. So uh, in terms of our origin, you know, we um, got uh, founded in 1993 and um, you can see, you know, a lot of eminent scientists and personalities uh, both nationally and internationally, they were involved in the creation of GIK. Uh, and many of you, you know, would have heard its name uh, because of simply the impact that, uh, you know, we have been able to make uh, both nationally and internationally. Um, so, you know, professors from Stanford University, Cambridge, uh, you know, TU Delft, all of these are very eminent universities all around the world, including, uh, you know, Professor Dr. Akio Khan as well. Uh, who were all involved in the uh, you know the creation of the institute and in terms of our location you know we are just uh, near Tarbela dam many of you would have heard about it and some of you may have visited it as well and uh, you, you know as they say that Tarbela dam is an engineering marvel um, so you know that is what we are also trying to do is is to create such minds and such engineers who can you know, create more such marvels, uh, you know, for the country uh, and the world. So these are the seven different faculties and departments uh, at GIK. And, uh, you know, we have faculty of computer science and engineering uh, offering different programs. And then we have a department of civil engineering and then, you know, a faculty of electronics and they, you know, we have a faculty of engineering sciences, which is a very unique faculty. And, you know, I'm going to talk about it, that we are the only one in Pakistan offering this unique program. Um, and then recently for, for the past few years, we've been offering uh, degree programs in management sciences as well. Uh, and then materials and chemical engineering. Uh, and then mechanical engineering has also been around for, uh, you know, 
for some time now. So I'll start with the Faculty of Computer Science and Engineering. And in the backdrop, you can see the, the building for the Faculty of uh, Computer Science and Engineering. It's, it's one of the oldest faculties uh, at GIK. And uh, you know, it offers different programs. Um, most of you, uh, KIPSians, I think they would be interested in, 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 in the BS or the undergraduate degree. Uh, but along with the undergraduate degree, we also offer postgraduate degrees in master's and PhD in computer science as well. Uh, and on uh, almost all of our degrees are uh, accredited by the national councils. Uh, so in this case, NSEEQ is an uh, you know, accreditation body of Pakistan, which has accredited uh, these programs. Uh, and so if you are interested to pursue a career in programming or, uh, for example, you know, the theoretical uh, understanding of, of computers, then you would want to enroll in this program. Uh, and if you're more hardware oriented, and if you want to, you know, uh, go into chip design or, or exploring the, uh, you know, making of the computer, then you want to enroll into the program of computer engineering, which is also accredited by uh, its corresponding body, which is the Pakistan Engineering Council. And then recently, you know, there's a lot of buzz about artificial intelligence, AI, and, and machine learning. So, you know, we offer programs in uh, AI as well. And uh, the, the, this program is getting a lot of uh, popularity, and uh, you have the option to enroll in this program as well. And then there's a program recently launched in cybersecurity, which is an emerging area in, in computer science. Um, so if you're more into hacking and, and how to stop hacking, then uh, you know you would want to enroll uh, in this program, um, and then we also have, <laughs> and then we also have a program in uh, data science. As you know, that uh, you know big data and uh, data analytics is getting uh, a lot of traction these days uh, internationally and nationally as well. Uh, so there is a program related to that as well, which you can uh, go into. So the Faculty of Computer Science and Engineering, in order to offer uh, these all these programs with full richness, it is equipped with uh, you know modern labs and state-of-the-art equipment. You know, from robotics lab to AI lab, we have uh, uh, you know uh, perhaps uh, you know some of the modern uh, infrastructure related related to all of these programs. And uh, as part of the student community, you will be able to benefit from these labs. Uh, not only in your courses, but also for your projects. And I would also like to highlight one thing here that, you know, we are a residential campus, which gives you a unique edge that sometimes we also allow round the clock access to these labs, which means you can even access them at night and you can really focus on your projects and, and, and create some, some of the students have been able to create, you know, some amazing things simply because of the time they are able to dedicate uh, to their work or to their projects uh, using these labs around the clock, which may not be possible in a day, uh, you know, if you're if you're a day scholar in, in a particular university. Uh, so uh, for the past few years, we have, uh, you know, been offering programs uh, in civil engineering as well via this Department of Civil Engineering. Uh, and this program is also accredited by Pakistan Engineering Council. It offers specializations in geotech and transportation, uh, water resource and environment, and construction management, uh, and similarly, you know, earthquake and, and, and structures. Um, so if you're really into building bridges and buildings, and, uh, you know, for example, recently there was a lot of talk when the earthquake came in Turkey, and, uh, you know, a lot of buildings collapsed simply because the structure was, was not able uh, to cater for that. Uh, and if you want to design such modern archi uh, architectures and buildings, then, you know, you, you would want to enroll in um, uh, this program. And this department is also equipped with, uh, you know, uh, labs and uh, modern equipment. And, you know, uh, it has all the requisite facilities to um, offer all of these programs uh, uh, with full richness. And uh, it's graduates, uh, although it's, it's, it's a relatively young program, but it's right, graduates, uh, you know, have been doing very well. Uh, you can see, so, you know, some of the, them have gone into, uh, you know, big names or big companies like Engro, 
and wreck it uh, or other construction companies and uh, you know they are making uh, a name for themselves in the market and uh, you know this this is just a word cloud showing uh, you know the different companies that are graduates so this is this is created from the actual data uh, of our graduates working in different uh, companies nationally and internationally so you know names like nespark Veria town imar uh, you know they have been working in habib construction uh, all the major names of construction uh, nationally and if you'll graduate from this department, you'll work, you know, uh, you'll end up working as one of these titles or one of these designations, for example, either as a materials engineer or a geotechnical engineer or a structure, uh, structural engineer or a quantity surveyor. Uh, and, you know, you may want to explore these uh, career options uh, because I know that students are confused at this time. You know where to go and, and where not to go. Again, one of the uh, oldest faculties at GIK Electrical Engineering. Uh, it offers two specializations. Uh, so again, if you're more into the circuit design, uh, then you would want to go into electronics or the creation of electronic devices. Or if you're more into energy and how to create energy or power and uh, you know how to store energy, how to transport energy. Then you want you would want to enroll into the specialization of power, um, and um, uh, recently, uh, you know, uh, we got a good news that uh, the Faculty of Electrical Engineering was ranked in one of the prestigious rankings, global rankings, which is the QS World Rankings, and uh, it was ranked. Um, uh, between uh, you know 500 and uh, onwards uh, uh, 500 to 600 I believe uh, universities uh, around the globe which is really an achievement because very few universities from Pakistan were able to uh, make this mark. Uh, so all the labs which are present in the Faculty of Electrical Engineering from telecoms lab to automation and process control lab and all of this lab work is going to help you in your you know job afterwards or the internship uh, because uh, you know we have all the uh, required equipment um, uh, for you to get your hands dirty on so some of the graduates graduates from the faculty of electrical engineering uh, these are really only some examples uh, but uh, you know most of our graduates do very well uh, so, you know, just one of the alumnas, uh, Varda, so, you know, she has been very popular and uh, she was a topper here at GIK and then, you know, she ended up uh, going to MIT. Uh, she, you know, secured a full GPA there as well, the, the, the maximum possible. And, and now, uh, you know, she has founded a company and she, she has secured funding um, uh, to, uh, you know, in the Silicon Valley to to create something um, in the area of uh, you know dentistry so this is the faculty uh, to which i belong to this is the faculty of engineering sciences in the backdrop you can see the its building and uh, uh, we offer a bs in engineering sciences along with the graduate programs and and these are accredited by uh, Pakistan Engineering Council as well. Uh, now, this is a very unique program, as I said in the introduction as well. Uh, we are the only one in Pakistan offering this program. Um, and, you know, some of the leading universities worldwide, like Oxford, Berkeley, uh, they offer this program as well. Uh, you know, one of the very nice features of this program, especially for, you know, all of the young learners, who, you know, who would be listening today to this talk, is that you know many of you at this point at this juncture may be confused uh, in the sense that you're not really sure you want to go to uh, the software side of the things or you want to go towards the hardware side of the things. Uh, so you know this program lets you uh, experience different types of courses for the first two years of your engineering degree, and only after the end of two years you have to decide uh, whether you want to you know go towards uh, uh, you know, the, uh, what type of specialization or, for example, whether you want to go towards the software side of the things or the hardware side of the things. 
So, you know, we offer two specialization uh, and, and you have to only choose at the end of two years of your four-year degree program, whether you want to, uh, you know, create devices. And so, for example, you want to go into the area of microelectronics and uh, photonics, uh, where you'll be uh, reading more about circuit design and how to create devices and, you know, how you make them. Or you want to, for example, uh, go towards the design modeling of the brain of the device. So for example, you know, mostly the brain of the devices is based on AI and machine learning. So, uh, you know, this other specialization allows you to do all the corresponding mathematical modeling, the corresponding simulation uh, to design the brain of the devices. So, you know, this is what we offer. And you know our graduates have done very well as well. Just just one of the examples, uh, Umar Piracha, who you know who who studied photonics at Faculty of Engineering Sciences, and then this this helped him to pursue the area of photonics uh, in U.S. Afterwards, he he graduated from uh, University of California, and uh, then he ended up working as a lidar engineer. So you know some of you might know that uh, these self-driving cars. Uh, they use LIDAR as a technology to decide their path um, or their trajectory. And, uh, you know, it's one of the cutting edge fields uh, for nowadays. And, uh, you know, the education at GIK, you know, really gave him the foundation to pursue his uh, dream. Uh, again, Bilal, a graduate of FES working in uh, uh, clinical imaging. So he's trying to interpret images from uh, use of AI technology, and he's leading a, a team of engineers in uh, US. So our graduates also working in, you know, uh, different uh, uh, companies, both uh, nationally and nationally, uh, many multinationals as well. And you can see that, you know, they, they either end up work as, as hardware, uh, you know, engineers like RF engineer, optical engineer, or they work more towards the software side, like software engineer or data analyst. Uh, so both the options are available. So, so although classically, you know, GIK was known uh, more for uh, engineering programs, but uh, for the past few years, uh, we have been offering degrees in management science as well. And, and, and they have, you know, recently gained a lot of traction. So we, we see a lot of applicants ap applying to management science programs as well. And so if you're more interested in, in management science uh, degrees, uh, for example, if you want to go into accounting, finance, or entrepreneurship, or marketing, or, you know, supply chain, then, you know, uh, you can enroll into this program. And this is also an accredited program. Um, so its graduates also do well, uh, you know, um, and they end up doing well in the market. And uh, although it's a relatively uh, recent program, but, uh, you know, they have made a mark in, uh, you know, different companies um, nationally. Faculty of Materials and Chemical Engineering. Uh, the, this is again, one of the, uh, especially materials engineering, one of the oldest programs offered at GIK. In fact, the founding father of GIK, Dr. A.Q. Khan, you know, uh, belonged to this area and he gave special uh, focus to this particular faculty. And, you know, some of you might know materials are playing more and more important role uh, nowadays, um, you know, whether it's, it's, it's an electrical device or whether it's our textile or whether it's our, you know, anything new type of materials are appearing and, and uh, it's important is getting in, in increased uh, day by day. So if you're more interested in exploring more of that, you will want to enroll in this particular program. Uh, and then it also has a department in uh, chemical engineering, which, which offers a undergraduate and postgraduate program in, 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 in chemical engineering. Uh, you know, all the factories, all the plants in Pakistan, they need chemical engineers as they have different processes. And, um, you know, if you, are interested in, in that, you can, you know, enroll in this particular program. Uh, so it, it, it also boasts, uh, you know, some of, um, uh, you know, modern labs and state-of-the-art uh, equipment. Uh, and some of them do not come cheap and very few universities in Pakistan have, you know, can afford these. For example, the scanning electron microscope 
you know, uh, it's, 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 it's um, one of the, uh, you know, very expensive equipment that this particular faculty holds. And being part of this faculty, you will be able to, you know, use this for your projects and during your, uh, for your courses as well. So again, profile of some of the graduates of this faculty, they have done well. You can see, you know, uh, names of some uh, company, well-known companies like Procter & Gamble, like Rolls Royce, like Amazon, and like Johnson & Johnson. And, you know, they're doing well both nationally and uh, internationally. And again, this is a word cloud, you know, being, uh, which was created from, uh, you know, the data of actual alumni working in different companies. Uh, so probably the, the last in my list, the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the popular faculties uh, uh, at GIK, and, uh, you know, as part of this faculty, uh, you know, you can get to specialize in the three streams, uh, whether in design or manufacturing, or in thermal fluid engineering, or in the dynamics and control systems engineering. Uh, so, you know, just to give you an example, so for example, in if you make an aircraft, if you're more interested in the structure of the aircraft, its wings, its nozzles, and you know, then how to optimize that structure, then you'd want to specialize in design and manufacturing. If you want to model how it can you know, pass through the air and how you can model that, then you know, for example, you know, you'd want to do the thermal fluid engineering. And if you want, you'd want to, you know. Uh, make uh, the control system of the aircraft, uh, you know, how, how it can um, be controlled in the best possible manner, then you'd, you'd want to, you know, uh, specialize in the control system engineering. And again, one of the recent good news related to this uh, faculty that this was uh, ranked uh, globally, uh, you know, again, very few universities, one of the top three universities in Pakistan or one of the top three uh, programs uh, in mechanical in Pakistan, which made to the QS top 500. Um, so again, uh, nice labs uh, that you, you can see different students make use of these labs and uh, uh, you know, the profile of um, some of the graduates from this, this, this faculty. Uh, so whether Unilever's or Audi or Nestle or PepsiCo or, or Landerwood, you know, our students have, uh, you know, been able to make uh, a mark for themselves, um, both nationally and internationally. So this also shows the geolocation of uh, the graduates of mechanical engineering. And you can see, you know, almost all of Europe, North America, Australia, as well as locally, nationally as well, they, they are contributing in the area of mechanical engineering. So for the next part of the presentation, uh, you know, what type of life you're going to experience at GIK, I'm going to invite our lecturer engineer, Sip. I was going to come and uh, de deliver you a talk on that. So thank you from my side. And, you know, uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions at the end of the presentation. Assalamu alaikum. I hope all been good. Uh, my name is Sayyid Sifkar Hassan Shirazi. Uh, I'm a lecturer at the moment. And you keep the student uh, from the same faculty I'm sitting at the moment from the Faculty of Engineering Sciences. If anyone wants to contact me, these are the details. So coming to the GT is one of the things that makes a person a bit unique to as compared to other universities. Because I feel that if you are a big person who wants to enjoy your life or have some ambition out of academic, then GIK is best good for you. Because as in the picture, if you see that the first picture, that's a, of Team Hammerwerk, another a cultural society, another one a swimming pool, and a different society. So basically, GIK is not related to Dhamik. It adds something more to it. And the more to it, it means that we have 30 plus society. And there are the technical societies, there are uh, cultural societies, you will find a quite diverse team GIK, which is not present in other universities. And the prime reason of it is this GIK is 
completely a residential campus. While the residential campus the students have the quizzes even at after six or seven. So that's why they find an ample time for enjoying their life. For example, if you're studying anywhere else in Pakistan, mostly the students are day going to half the university day two, three, four, and after that, they have to go back to the home. So in another way around, JIK provides you the environment to interact with your friends, um, different faculty, even at the later hours. So it makes the JIK a bit different as compared to other universities. This is a, a bit of a video related to the GIK. As you have seen in the video that there are some societies and there are a lot of facilities in GP, like you will find in gym, a very good gym, you have a very, very good library, there's a different clubs, cricket grounds, each and everything, very good residents. You don't feel as compared to other universities, I as I told you, the one selling point of the unique thing which makes GIK a bit different as compared to other universities, which I think so it's a fully residential campus. And some people, I used to go to the different outreach groups, and people do ask from me that being an alumni of this university, what things make GIK a bit different? Yes, the damage can be found everywhere. But what my answer is always that GIK has a fully residential campus and provides you an ample opportunity to interact with the students and not with inside the students. Every weekend, we have a all park even from 30 plus society and <clears throat> students from different universities, even not from the university schools are coming to the GK and interacting with other students, participating in different competitions. It's not only the competition, the base, each and everything, starting from the academic societies till a cultural, dramatic and studies all just related to all things. Now, this is a few glimpses of teams and the society. This is a one team that's related to working on Microsoft thing from the computer science. You will find another few teams. This is from conferences, from the latest conferences that's related uh, to computing. Uh, one society, ACM has organized that and GK has uh, got a very good position in that. Similarly, this is one team that's related to Team Swiss that's, uh, that are working on drones and um, other things. No? Similarly, there is another team that is Team Foxford from GK as well as participating in international uh, many things. So it's not only the this team, our team Hammer and has been participating in shell marathons from last 10 to 15 years. So many such teams are working there. Similarly, this is another snap for um, a team where the, uh, these girls have formed this branch from the team spirit. So as I told you that GIK provides an ample opportunity for students to work together even after 5 p.m. That's a very fascinating perspective of GIK. Uh, now this is a one project. I just want to relate it to a few projects. Uh, basically this was my project at my time when I was been graduating back in 2018. So just have an idea of what kind of a project.
as I told you, uh, Dr. Asad has already explained this thing. The GI team is surrounded by a Tarbela dam and it has very beautiful ambience outside the campus even. I went to a Tarbela dam and let's have the video that what is actually the GI cave from outside. <laughs> Not only this, we have a many fascinating restaurants outside the GT where students can go on the weekend, even if they want to travel from by rickshaw or something, they can visit to different restaurants just a um, few meters. <laughs> um, now I want to share a few experience of our students. And let me add one thing before the student experience. The GIK provides a transport facilities to every student on the weekend. For example, if you live in Islam Bath, Aktabad, or the Peshawar, and you want to go back to the home, then the GIK have a shuttle and the bus service on every Friday that takes the students from GK to the cities. And then on the Sunday, these students can come back to the campus via that institute transport. So let's have the- Assalamu alaikum, I'm Manu Ratafir. I'm currently in my final year of engineering sciences, majoring in modeling and simulation from the Ghulam Azad Khan Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology. I was in Newest International School's Richmond campus from the class of 2019. Many great memories have been associated with this place and it's great to be virtually here once again. I have been given this platform to show you all what GK offers. From bus service facilities to major cities on the weekend to incredible sporting facilities, in simple terms, it's one of the best engineering institutes in the country, ranked on various international platforms. GK is not only known for its academics, but also the life of a GKian. From over 60 student societies and teams, you can never get enough of socializing and exploring yourself and different avenues at every step of the way. From weekly events to daily society and team activities, you never get bored here. But be wary of the academic side too. You need to have wits about it at all times. If you want to go on international trips to US and represent your country, like I and my fellows in Team Swift, then come join us. We at GIK will be waiting for you. Thank you for your time and all the best for your future endeavors. Uh, similarly, we have one more guy. Assalamu alaikum, I am Muhammad Abshras and I am an alumni of Blue Cheese National School Springton campus. Currently, I am a student of computer engineering at Gulam Isa Khan Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology. I am a sophomore student there. Uh, choosing GK was one of, my, one of the amazing decisions that I have done. Uh, no regrets. It's an excellent institute. Personally, I found that it's environment is quite condu uh, conducive for innovation and academic excellence and it provides numerous opportunities for personal and professional growth especially if you want to pursue engineering it has one of the most vibrant student society cultures that i've ever seen in pakistan and i can attest to that being part of more than four societies here societies here uh, conduct various uh, social events such as concerts uh, tech related events like hackathons, seminars, workshops, uh, stage performances, games, uh, futsal, basketball, etc. Again, amazing experience. And I, hi uh, I highly recommend GK for anyone who is pursuing a career in engineering. The Institute provides an excellent education and a supporting environment and numerous opportunity for personal and professional growth. Recently, we were ranked, um, I think, so first in Pakistan, 37 globally in Times Higher Impact Rankings, uh, quality educations. Uh, so I think so compared to other institutes, other prestigious institutes here in, in the country, GK is one of the best. So definitely recommend GK. One more thing that GK provides an amazing transport service for its students. Uh, going to Islamabad, Rawalpindi, Abdabad, and Peshawar during the weekends. Um, it's affordable and convenient. Um, aside to deep student experience, um, 
since I told you earlier as well that I myself been the student to GK and I've been the part of the GIK from last eight years. So I have a very fascinating experience as well. From the student to the faculty, I found the GIK a very lovely place. And as an alumni, I, I also highly recommend the people who've been interested in academics. Along with that, if you have ambitions to do something great, if you, you have seen from Dr. Asa's site as well, that if you're interested to go abroad after that and wants to do something for the Pakistan, I hope GIK is the best place for you. And I'm very happy to say more about that. The GK has some culture and a legacy. Uh, we have been sitting four guys at the moment, three people and this one person belongs to GK. So we all are the people who want to serve GK as well, want to serve Pakistan as well. I hope that soon you will join our community as well and the, being the part of GK will do something great for Pakistan. It's all from my side. I have shared the emails as well. If you have any question, I would love to answer you as a, as a luminous and I hope you will have a smooth journey or admission. Thank you from my side. Now I'm going to um, give my mic to Vakasa and he is going to tell us about uh, scholarship and admission. Thank you. Thank you, Sip, for handing over the station to me. And I'm thankful to Dr. Asad and Sip for not leaving much behind for me. Although uh, the, the, the agenda to, uh, I have is very, very important. And uh, I hope you, because uh, the facilities and the cynical views shared by Dr. Asad and the experiences uh, by Dr. Sip and Mr. Sip, to listen, uh, definitely you can enjoy, but obviously you need to fulfill some certain conditions. So uh, I'm going to teach, I'm going to show you about the eligibility criteria, about the scholarships and uh, how to apply uh, for certain programs. And then we have uh, some, we will take some question answers. Uh, uh, we will have a question answer session about the applications and how to fill the form and the scholarship forms. So I'm starting with the eligibility criteria for all the engineering programs. Uh, including the computing uh, computer engineering programs. These are the basic eligibility criteria. You, uh, candidates for admission must meet one of the eligibility criteria so it's being shared on the screen right now. So if you are uh, you, you are doing a HSC in page engineering group, you must have a mathematics physics with 60% of the or above marks in each mathematics and the marks each in mathematics and physics and overall. Uh, recently, uh, with the permission of the Pakistan Engineering Council, uh, we have made some certain changes. Now, ICS uh, students, uh, students with ICS background, can apply all the computing and engineering program as well by having the 60% marks in the mathematics, physics, and overall. Uh, if you are a, uh, if you belong to a pre-medical group, then obviously for engineering programs, you can uh, you need to have uh, have uh, you need to have a, you need to have study. Uh, 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 additional mathematics subjects and uh, again 60% overall marks in mathematics, physics, and, uh, and for uh, overall uh, at SHC level. If you're if you're a student of A level, uh, then uh, for all for engineering programs, either you have a chemistry uh, or a computer studies, you can apply all the programs, but you must have a mathematics and physics in the uh, in the A in your A level. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, if you have a study back, uh, IT background, you can also apply for all the engineering programs despite uh, the A level. If you are, uh, or if you have completed your American Canadian high school diploma or equivalent uh, qualification, you can also apply for all the engineering programs. We have a separate criteria for, for some certain uh, computing programs like uh, artificial intelligence, data science, cyber security, and computer science as well. Uh, for all ICS background students can apply all of these programs, but if you have uh, study HSC with, without chemistry or computer study, uh, but you have uh, study mathematics and physics, you can apply uh, and with the third, with any other third elective, you can apply for uh, cyber security, artificial intelligence, data science, and computer science programs. Similarly, at A level, mathematics and physics is mandatory so are the mandatory subjects, but with any other third elective. With, by having minimum weak weights in mathematics and physics, you can apply uh, either of the program mentioned above. We have a separate test for management sciences. For all the engineering and computing plants, there's a, there's a single test. By applying online, 
you need to set some certain preferences. I'm going to show you in a while. I'll uh, show the, the application form. So you need to set the preferences. The, the more interesting program you have, uh, you need to set high preferences for, the, for that particular program. And we have a separate test for the management management science programs. And uh, the, the basic requirement is the basic requirement is 60 percent marks in the, your training group or HSC or ICS background. If you are studying medical, uh, pre-medical without uh, additional mathematics, you can also apply uh, in BS management science program. And by the way, we have uh, at BS level management science program, we have three different streams. Like we have uh, uh, accounting and finance, we have uh, entrepreneurship and management uh, and supply chain management. Entrepreneurship and marketing is a separate thing. And this is very important for all the candidates for uh, who are actually pursuing, who are going to apply for GIC Institute. The 70% weightage for the merit list criteria comes from GIC and PTAS. If you're good at your uh, SSC or A level, uh, you would get uh, about 30% weightage from your earlier education side uh, grades. But major proportion of the merit list of, of the merit criteria, you will get the highest, the, the, you need to perform well in your GIK entrance test because 70% weightage is, is being given to the our GIK admission test. Candidates who have completed one of the above qualification or are waiting awaiting results may apply for provisional admission. Confirmation of admission will, however, subject to the submission of the results. Uh, by the specified date uh, in the offer letter and fulfillment of fulfillment of, of above criteria. In addition to that, all foreign qualification holders required to submit equivalent certificate uh, to be which we are going to get from IBCC. Uh, we required a, a equivalent certificate for O level and A level or American or high uh, American Canadian high school diploma certificate holders. But uh, you need to submit after joining the GIF Institute. So you have ample time. Uh, to uh, get certificate from the IBCC. Next, we have uh, some important dates uh, because we already uh, in the first week of May. So the application deadline is 15 of May. So May, uh, so please ensure that you have applied online. And by the way, we are accepting only online applications. We do not accept paper-based or hard uh, type applications. You need to visit our uh, admission portal uh, by visiting uh, at our website. Uh, it's, 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 giki.edu.pk. You will get all the information by by holding the your mouse on admissions and at undergraduate admissions. On the right tab, you'll get all the related information, including the prospectus. So here you can apply uh, the undergraduate admission. And this is basically this is the link for. GIK admission portal. You, we have a direct, a direct link as well. I'll share you with you guys in a minute. Then we have uh, aid and scholarships. And trust me, a lot of uh, a lot of students are getting lots of uh, scholarship in these days. So competition is very tough. So you need to score well uh, at our GIK interest test. And we have a, some brilliant scholarships for our meritorious and need comes to need based students, needy students. Like we have a 20 top uh, merit scholarships, you don't need to apply, uh, but you need to be on merit in the, uh, at least in, on top 20 positions. Then you will get a full scholarship for four years, and uh, scholarship also uh, includes your also covering your uh, your boarding uh, and uh, accommodation costs. And then we have some regional based scholarships, like we have 20 CMKP scholarships, we have frontier education scholarship. There are some certain criteria for that, like you need to have some, uh, you need to have a domicile, one of the district of the relevant uh, province. Yes. Then we have uh, different uh, organizational based scholarships. And uh, we also provide financial assistance to need on need come merit basis. So while applying online, you must apply for the scholarship, and there is no separate fee for the for applying of the scholarship. There are minor, there is a minor fee for uh, uh, for applying in, uh, for the financial assistance, which is about five hundred rupees. If you are if you think you are meritorious enough, but you cannot afford uh, the fee, then you need to apply uh, uh, financial assistance of for which is being awarded to the candidates about thirty five to forty, subject to the requirement and need of the students. Okay. 
So there is a link for the admission uh, for, for submission application. This is the basic screen. This is a front screen you will experience while logging to the uh, our admission portal. I'm giving the direct link as well, which is admissions.giki.edu.pk. So here you need to fill out a basic form here. Make sure you are uh, you are giving your uh, information, which is factual true, because these are the very important information and uh, especially your email and uh, all related types of information because DIK will respond to you on these uh, provided information. So I have already made an account here, so I'll show you. This is the first interface. You need to apply, uh, you need to fill out the basic details here. Make sure you are giving your uh, information, which is actually true. And uh, you also need to fill out the, basically there is no requirement uh, of domicile for particular for admission, but there are some requirements for getting a scholarships. So make sure if you are, have a domicile, please select the relevant province of your domicile. And the GIK normally conducts uh, its tests uh, across Pakistan as well as overseas. So if you're applying uh, outside of Pakistan, you don't need to uh, you don't need to uh, come Pakistan especially for the to to appear in GIK and first step. So you can simply need to select an overseas test center. So we will get back to you, and uh, you could be able to uh, appear in GIK as while staying at your home. For all candidates who are applying within Pakistan. They need to select uh, one of the center or assessment center so they can uh, they have to visit nearby center to appear physically but the test would be a computer-based test for uh, engineering and uh, computing programs as well as for the management science programs so after filling the basic form simply click on next so all the basic details you need to fill out here including your ssc or matriculations or uh, all level subjects and depends when you apply, you need to make sure that you are applying for the right programs. Like here are multiple options. If you click on, will be able to apply only for the management science programs. Uh, considering the basic eligibility criteria, which were shown earlier here. So considering the this basic eligibility criteria available at our website, you need to apply, uh, you need to make sure that you are applying for the right programs. So if you're applying for all programs, so next. Here, you need to set the preference, the program choices. Basically, you need to set a higher preference, the, uh, the preferred program. If you are interested, for example, in civil engineering, you need to give it to that, uh, set the preference is, is one. If you're interested in computer engineering, in that's, that's your second choice, set it two. If you are interested in engineering size, you need to set as a preference number three. So in the chronological order, chronological order, you need to set the, uh, uh, your preferences. If you're interested in, the, if you're appearing in both programs, like uh, because we have a, say, we have conducted a single test for all these 12 programs, and we have a separate test for the uh, uh, management science program. So if you are interested to apply for the management science program as well, so you need to, to uh, active this radio button here. So simply click on next. Here you apply your photograph and make sure you are uh, no selfies to be uploaded. Make sure it's a proper photo so we can uh, recognize you while uh, you are appearing in the admission test. So at this step, you need to activate the financial system option or the scholarship options. Once you activate these options, then you will be able to apply. Uh, you, then you will be become able to fill out the form for a financial system and try. Uh, basic form for the financial assistance and scholarships, so you need to have some fill out some basic information, but definitely we require some financial and your family information as well. So, after 
clicking on yes there and you can you need to simple out fill out the form and submit the form application so it will be able to submit the form and if you have uh, completed the form once you've completed the form you'll find this uh, window and you can here print your form or apply for a scholarship because i have already filled the scholarship form so uh, for a little demo i'll show you my own form So like an application form, these are the information we require. And once you fill out all the relevant information and uh, uh, like for the family, the investment uh, you have done, uh, the, uh, the family assets, the salary income and educational expenses. So after submitting the application forms, make sure that you will send us these documents. All these, all these documents are required to determine your eligibility for the uh, either for the scholarship or for, for the financial assistance. Meanwhile, if you if you face any kind of problem or during the filling out the form of uh, application form or the scholarship form, on the bottom right you can see this is a contact as basically it's a chat box for us. You can simply query us uh, with uh, you can simply post your query here, and our team will get back to you as soon as possible. So if you have a like, like if you're getting confused, so you can uh, get uh, like about eligibility criteria, or if you don't understand about the fee or the salary income or the business income or uh, about any other field, you can simply post. So this will, there's a message center for us, our team get back to you as early as possible, you'll get uh, updates regarding your theory. So this is a these are the basic steps you need to follow. But there are some basic uh, there are some basic steps you need to understand that you must apply uh, for uh, uh, admission through all our online portal. Second thing is that you need to understand the criteria of the GPT criteria uh, that uh, because it is important to select these programs because at the end of the day uh, there is no there is no quota system and your merit will just be. Uh, we play a key role in uh, getting an offer at you from the GI Institute. And the third one is uh, because there are some certain scholarships you need to apply at the time of uh, filling of the application. If you miss that chance, yeah, um, uh, later on you, will, you won't be able to apply for some certain scholarship. Although there are other scholarships, but uh, these are the basic forms you need to apply while you need to fill out while uh, uh, filing the online applications. So. Uh, uh, this is these are the steps i'm would be happier to answer your query if you have any so um, i'm also a uh, company with uh, dr Hassan and mr Sutur Hassan. so i think uh, may i ask the kids team to please open a question answer session and you can ask questions directly from us yes. we have a few questions in the comments uh, there's a first question what is the financial assistance please explain again okay difference between questions all the details are available at our website but let me explain basically it's, a, it's the interest free loan every year uh, every year we uh, provide uh, uh, full and partial uh, uh, financial aid to our students subject to their requirements and uh, their uh, uh, merit order basically it's a interest free loan you don't need to, if you are getting if you have uh, if you are successful to getting full uh, financial assistance uh, you need to uh, provide us some certain documents and after that uh, uh, you don't need to pay for four years so the whole tuition fee would be covered including your accommodation and there is one one year one year for grace or grace period and after five years you need to pay back uh, the certain amount uh, in installment to gi institute so you can pay back over the 15 years so, uh, so all together you will be paying back to gi institute uh, in around 20 years so it's a very soft loan so it's interest fee loan only one percent uh, incentive charges would be applicable but you need to man you need to have uh, some certain uh, cgpa to for continuation of finance assistance i hope i have answered the question but by the way details are available at our, at our website and you can even ask uh, the details uh, while filling out the form at uh, in there we have another question from muhammad shabab He's asking that is GIK offered cybersecurity program? 
You will get all the faculties information here. So just visit our computer science and engineering. And here uh, you can see this about our group, all about the programs. And the, these are the programs we are offering at this part of stage. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then the next question from Muhammad Shabazz. What is the difference between the IT and software engineering program offered by the GK? Uh, to get a deep insight about that particular thing, um, I request you, Mohammed Shabazz, to visit GK um, and meet us. And I can recommend a few people who can guide you further about this question. Um, yeah. Or you can contact the academic department related to it. Um, another question, uh, uh, it was again from Mohammed Shabazz. He was asking about the merit criteria of GP and if top 10 students on merit will get a 100% scholarship or not. Okay. Uh, at our website, if you are, although I have explained, but uh, I'm happy to show you our, once again. At our website, hover around uh, admission, then uh, click on undergraduate admissions. Uh, here on the right tab, you'll get about the information relating to your uh, relating to the aid and scholarships. So it's, his question is about the GK scholarship. Uh, yes. Do they get hundred percent scholarship? Yes, we are offering hundred percent scholarship for four years. You need to maintain uh, three point zero zero CGPA out of on the scale of four to for continuation uh, to continue your scholarship. If you are good students, uh, you have scored well, and you are among the top twenty candidate uh, of uh, in your in the merit order, you will get uh, full scholarship for four years. So the whole tuition fee will be covered including your accommodation you only need to pay uh, admission fee which is a one one time submission for which is about 63000 and you will pay about uh, pay for your mess uh, fee so that's all you need to pay there is no separate charge for the accommodation uh, there is no separate charge for the laboratory fee there will be no charge for the examination fee or registration fee so it's a fully covered uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity for those uh, who are meritorious students so you'll get uh, full scholarship for four years. Now we have another question from Jennifer Abbasi, and she's asking the criteria for financial infrastructure. So basic information is given here at our website that you need to apply. Every year we, we, we provide about 50, 40, 50 students to some deserving candidate, this is a merit come need base. Uh, while filling at the form, uh, filling out the form, yes, you need to click at financial system. This radio button, you at this at the financial system tab, you need to activate this tab, uh, this radio, uh, this option by clicking on this yes button, radio button, and save it. Once you save it, and by submitting an application, uh, after submitting application, you will get a form. You need to fill out this form, which is yeah, this one. You need to fill out all the information there. There is a com special committee to consider your case. The, the, all the cases will be considered as the merit order and subject to the requirement of the candidate considering the, the financial uh, condition of the candidate. So uh, there are full, uh, the committee may decide to provide you a full uh, 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 full financial assistance for the for four years for, uh, for uh, by covering your full fee or can may provide you a partial fee uh, to cover your partial expenses of the PTSD. And there's another, there are, uh, there's another category. We call it, uh, which one we are for the female? Yeah. yeah. We have a special category for female as well that we have, we are opting 10, uh, we are opting about uh, six to 10 special uh, uh, seat for the financial assistance. We call it uh, top uh, female candidate. So if you are if you are a female candidate and you applied uh, for the financial system and you are among the top candidates, there's also a, a, apart from GIK merit scholarship, apart from general financial assistance category, you uh, the female candidates also have opportunity to avail uh, financial system under the category of top female candidate. We have an. Yes, sir. 
Uh, I have few questions as well. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask, in which fields uh, pre-medical students can apply in GK? Uh, can you come again, please? In, medical students. in which fields pre-medical students can apply in GK? Uh, okay, sure. Let me show you again. There, we have eligibility criteria at our website. So uh, here you can say, here you can see like eligibility and assessment criteria. Like mm -hmm. all those students who have a pre who are belong who belong to pre medical group, if they have studied uh, additional mathematics subject uh, along with uh, physics, uh, then they can apply all the engineering and computing program, including the management sciences program. But it, in the, for those students who are unable to study or haven't yet studied the additional mathematics subject, they can only apply for BS Management Science program. Okay. And the second uh, question is, uh, can any local student apply on the basis of SAT? Basically, SAT has been suspended uh, by the particular by the parent organization or uh, uh, institution. So from uh, normally SAT score is applicable for two years. So from last two years, I believe they, they have suspected and suspended. So no new entrant or uh, no new uh, certificate is being issued to SAT uh, uh, holders. So I believe that at this point of stage, all students need to apply for GIC entrance test. Okay. And the third question is, sir, uh, what if student any date clash with the practical exams and GIC test? So what will the procedure for the new date, for getting the new date? Okay, uh, uh, we are expecting some classes uh, due to some practical exam, depending yeah. on their respective boards. But uh, uh, let me show you here. Uh, the, we have some important dates. I, I believe is. Uh, yeah. Here you can here, here you can see we have uh, yeah. tests on multiple days. Like we, we are, I'm expecting that we will normally uh, lay. Uh, uh, Engage all the applicants from July 13 to 15, and we, we may have a, another reserve day. But uh, obviously, there are, will be a number of sessions on each day. There will be a number of uh, there are a number of days in which uh, we can accommodate the, uh, such students. So once they need to fill out the application, they have, before one week of exam, they will get all the information related to the exam uh, uh, examination and their test menu and their test date and time uh, through their admit cards and our through email. In, in case they have uh, uh, experienced any clash uh, by getting after getting information, they need to contact them. We will give them a form. They need to fill out that, and we will try to engage. We will try to accommodate uh, him or her in the next available slot. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, there are a few questions from Hafiz. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Please ask him if there any field for the biomedical engineering in GK. Uh, at the moment, we are offering number of programs, but uh, particular not for the uh, biomedical. But so so far, we are, we are not offering a program in, but there is a program soon to uh, start it there. Uh, but of course, you can study electronics, and many people from electronics, uh, you know, uh, they get to choose their uh, final year projects related to biomedical, or even from engineering sciences, many people have their final year projects related to biomedical. Uh, but no dedicated curriculum uh, as yet. Another question from Nadia Zahi. She's asking how many fields for the computer science and the software engineering we have in GK? Well, each program has multiple, multiple seats and multiple sections. Uh, computer science, for computer science, we normally opt, uh, we normally offer a seat for 50 students, and for software engineering, we may have a 40 students, 40 50 students each year. Um, we have another question from Mark Khan, and he's asking, I am done with the pre-medical last year. I'm interested in doing additional mathematics this year, but my math, math result would be out in July. Meanwhile, I want to apply for, let's say, materials engineering needs some counseling for this issue. What should I type in maths, mark section in GT online admission form? Okay, uh, let me show you here once again, like uh, while filling out the details, you need to select this FSC part two result there awaited if you're doing FSC, right? So here you can see that you will you will get, uh, you need to enter only your first year marks. So the marks you have at the moment, you need to fill that out because this is the true information you have right now. Being a result awaited student will accept your current marks. But for the eligibility criteria, you must have uh, additional mathematics 
uh, so we'll definitely once you join GIC Institute, we'll ask for your eligibility. You need to submit your original certificates or documents with us. So we will check your eligibility. So at this point of stage, you need to simply uh, activate the tab here by clicking on FSC part two result awaiting. And then you click on save and next. Uh, sorry, let me show you again. Here is pre-engineering, is pre-medical pre with additional mathematics. And by selecting your relevant board and then click on save and move on, they will get the options. Because you have selected the, the pre-medical uh, group with additional mathematics, that's why you're getting all the information here or, or about the number of choices you, you may set here. We have one more question from Mustafa, and he's asking a very famous question, reasons to pick DT over NAS at both our previous institutions. So, well, there's no sin single line answer to this, but because we have lots of things to show you around, and uh, if you are living nearby to us, uh, you, because seeing is leaving, so I will, uh, you may join us uh, at one of the our society event, or uh, it's better to visit uh, GIC Institute, and uh, maybe perhaps Dr. Essel would like to answer, uh, to add some more in it. So I agree with Mukas that uh, this is not an easy uh, question to answer. I think there are, uh, you know, um, other good institutes in Pakistan as well. And, and I think each institute has its own pros and cons. I mean, I can only tell you about the, the things that our students cherish when they study and when they graduate from here. So one thing as mentioned by Sipt as well, myself and almost everybody, uh, is the life that you're going to experience, uh, not just the academics uh, when you are at GIK. So we are you know, purely residential campus. So you're going to experience a life which is which goes beyond nine to five and then you know uh, we have some very vibrant uh, societies and you're going to get involved in that society work even after five o'clock and then you you know at late night works on projects and and uh, you know this this gives a really a wholesome experience that uh, you know when when our alum, alumni share their experience they, they cherish it a lot and again, as, as we showed you, you know, the, the, the scenic uh, location that we are in, you know, I think we can offer this something that, that not many institutes in Pakistan can, can offer this as well. Uh, yeah, another uh, advantage of uh, GIC Institute, apart from residential campus, uh, which is actually ready, uh, because there's a two many, two minute walking distance for your classes. You can drive from your hostels to your classes, you will get uh, uh, to be in your class uh, within two minutes uh, walk. And uh, after your class or after the academic period, academic duration, you will have a wonderful uh, breakdown. We have a sports uh, uh, complex here. We have school. We have a gymnasium. So lots of activities uh, and lots of societies are normally conduct different events here. And uh, yes, uh, I'm also agree with the doctor said as well. And uh, again, uh, if you uh, there, there, are, there are lots of videos as well uh, on YouTube and uh, in the website, you'll see the live. And uh, of the, the program we are offering, it actually uh, has got level two accreditation as well from the Washington Accord. So you know, if you were, if you are planning to go abroad to perform uh, outside Pakistan, you don't need to have a separate degree. You don't need to talk top of, of your degree uh, because you are going to have uh, uh, you will get a, a degree from GIC Institute, which is uh, actually acceptable worldwide. Uh, one more thing which I'd like to you know. Uh, add is, 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 is our very strong alumni community. And uh, the students who study here, they get to benefit from that community because at the moment they are working um, at some you know, senior level positions in, in, in many uh, top national and multinational companies, both uh, nationally and internationally. So that network uh, really helps you whether you want to go for uh, job placement immediately after or for your graduate studies. That strong network really helps you in guiding uh, in choosing the right path. Yeah, one more thing I'd like to add here. Uh, a few days back, we have an open house session. Most of the companies visited here at the Institute. And uh, our final students uh, got two to three jobs. And I met with one of the students. He uh, got an offer from three different companies, but he's not interested in jobs. He'd like to uh, you know, uh, go into the entrepreneurship. So these are the things I think uh, uh, which may. Uh, offer you more than other universities. Uh, we have one more question from Zainab, and she is asking domicile scholarships to be merit based over. Domicile scholarships to be merit based over. 
बेसिकलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टिसमिसलीफ्टि
uh, advise all the students that to give more prefaces than uh, just giving at one or two prefaces. Select the program in the order uh, of your prefaces. We have one more question from Mithra Sadat, and he's asking those students from Punjab far India have difficulty in traveling to GT. Moreover, a variety of persons can service them. Well, you don't need to travel to GIC Institute to appear in the test. Uh, let me uh, show you again. I perhaps you have missed that. Uh, like, if you belong to a Punjab, any any district of the Punjab, while filling out your basic details, uh, here you can see at the bottom you need to select one of the test center uh, located near by you. Like, if you are close to Lahore uh, mm -hmm. or Multan or even all Pindi, you can uh, select any one of the center. You don't need to visit GIK Institute because uh, we're not uh, uh, considering GIK as to announce as a designated center for GIK interest test. We will have multiple test, center, test centers or designated assessment center across Pakistan. So uh, select any uh, test center located near to you. <laughs> Or is my I'd like to add one more thing. Agar aapka question tha, waise admission test se related to Vakasam ne bata diya ki aap kahi pe jaa mein locations hain jaa pe jaake test de sakte hain. Lekin agar let's suppose aapko kisi program ke baare mein information chahiye, like materials engineering ke baare, engineering sciences ho gaya ya kisi computer science ke program ke baare mein. So jis tarah Siptul Hasan ne apna email share kiya hai. Uh, he's going to share again. I'll, I'll ask him to share again. Okay. Uh, yes, we have one page. Mm -hmm. We want share another link. Mm -hmm. Here yeah. the people are asking the questions already. ठीक सो आप वहां पे जब अपने चीज क्वेश्चन शेयर करें वो लिंक इनके साथ शेयर कर दें ताकि इनको बता दें अभी आपको बता देते हैं कहां पे आप अपने क्वेश्चंस शेयर कर सकते हो क्योंकि रेलेवेंट अथॉरिटी को फिर हम पास कर देंगे एंड दे विल बी एबल टू आंसर योर एंड वी हैव अनदर चैट बोर्ड लाइक ऑन द वेबसाइट यू हैव टू सी दैट देयर इज अ व्हाट्सएप एट बॉटम लेफ्ट कॉर्नर इस पे आप क्लिक करेंगे आपकी जो रेलेवेंट क्वेरीज हैं आप उस पे टाइप करेंगे तो आपको जो रेलेवेंट डिपार्टमेंट है उस पे कनेक्ट कर दिया जाएगा सो दे विल गेट बैक टू यू एज अर्ली एज दे कैन हां सो इट्स वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू कनेक्ट टू कांटेक्ट वन ऑफ द योर रेलेवेंट डिपार्टमेंट एट जीआई के इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ऑल द ईमेल्स आर बीइंग गिवन हियर इवन देयर इज द चैट बॉट ऑन द जीआई के एडमिशन बोर्ड जीआई के एडमिशन पोर्टल इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी uh regarding the filling out the form uh, rather than contacting us contacting us over the phone you can simply uh, contact us using this chat box which is available bottom right of the corner uh, it's a chat messenger for us uh, just post your query our team will get back to you as soon as possible uh, mohsin aapke paas koi question hai extra nahi nahi bas jo administrator hai jin jo hamare sath unse puch le unse puch le that's all from our side uh, if you have any other question uh, may i request kids uh, management team if they have any question with them uh... thank you so much bukhar sahab master sahab sikul sahab uh, sir i have a basic two more questions as well uh, do you have any plans to open campus here in punjab Well, lots of proposals are under consideration, but you, I think, you tend to agree with me. There, the state of the art labs and the environment we have here, uh, it's really hard for us to open uh, campus. Yes, but there are lots of proposals to open multiple campuses. Uh, but definitely, we'll announce publicly to the public at large once we have some uh, uh, approval from the competent authority. But at this point of stage, this is the only campus we call it main campus of GI Institute. And the final question is, uh, uh, sir. <coughs> Any suggestions for the students which are appearing in GK and it has, uh, please guide them uh, as they they could perform better in that test. Well, it all depends on the interest of the students. Uh, basically, they need to understand the eligibility criteria, and uh, most of the queries we received after joining JK Institute that they were unable to. applied for the scholarship or financial assistance loan and they, although they got an offer from gi institute but they were unable to join gik because of uh, because they hadn't applied for the scholarship or financial assistance while filling out the forms 
So my uh, basic advice to them is once you uh, fill out the form, so make sure that you are giving your information with respect to two and uh, give your program chances as per the, your interest and uh, do apply for the scholarships and financial systems. Once you apply that, we will then have a data of the candidate to uh, determine his eligibility of, uh, for scholarship or for the financial system. Because in the year after joining GIC Institute, there are some other scholarships which we haven't talked about because some, uh, we also have a, a LMI scholarship which they normally offer scholarships over to them from the third semester onward or from the, from the second year onward. So they do require some certain data or information in advance. So we need to provide the, those uh, uh, kind of information to with our uh, related uh, organizations uh, or the agencies or the scholarship providers for sponsoring agencies. So make sure that you apply for the scholarships and fill out the form uh, to the extent with the factual information to the extent possible and do share the documents with us after submitting uh, after submitting your form because the, in the past uh, we have uh, uh, some applicants who have actually filled out the form but somehow they missed the to uh, and they don't they didn't bother bother to send us a form so we were unable to uh, although they were high on merit but we were unable to determine their cases for scholarship or for the uh, financial system due to the lack of documents. I think it's my simple lesson to come back for us. Candidates for tips, Kelly, up and for the general tips for uh, test to hand. Uh, before uh, moving on to, and I would like to add that uh, we haven't talked about. I, have, I was thinking that we may get a question from the candidate for the for the over prospective candidate that we have a stables at our website. You are definitely advised to look at our the stables uh, of GI campus test, like uh, mm -hmm. yeah, here. At the website in an admission option, just click on undergraduate admission and you'll get uh, on the right hand side, you would get this uh, undergraduate test admission test syllabus. Here you can see uh, you will get a relative syllabus like we have for the engineering and computing yeah. programs and we have for the management science program. And we have a, some kind of, kind of a sample test paper as well. Basically, uh, the, uh, all uh, the, the, the question paper of the computing and engineering program based on the uh, high school level uh, physics, mathematics, and English language. Yeah. And uh, for the many students, it's mathematics and English language. So that's it. And may I just... Yeah, I want to add from my experience that yes. 45% weightage of mathematics and 45% of uh, physics and 10 of in English. And that, for example, if you've been solving any mathematics question, then you should have a basic concept of all the chapters, uh, given an FPC book or an any levels book. If you're okay with that, I hope that you can solve many questions, but uh, as far as the consistency of the test, it would be a few harder problem. But if the concepts are there, I hope you could easily be in class. So that's the suggestion for my question. So basically, uh, to summarize, if you have levels, then maths, physics, or उन बुक्स को थॉरली रिवाइज करें उनके इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट्स की ग्रास्प लें और जो जिस तरह का साहब ने कुछ सैंपल पेपर्स का है इनको इनको करें और अगर आपने एफएससी किया है तो एफएससी की मैथ्स फिजिक्स की बुक जो उसके रिपोर्ट कांसेप्ट्स हैं उनको रिवाइज करें उनके प्रैक्टिस करें और आई बिलीव ए लेवल के स्टूडेंट्स आर अपीयरिंग इन देयर ए लेवल एग्जाम सो दे आर वेल प्रिपेयर्ड एंड यू इन द लाइकवाइज द एफएससी इज द बोर्ड those candidates who are appearing in the board examination, they are also preparing for the, the uh, FSC examination. So uh, by looking at the papers we have at our website, I think they can easily manage to uh, you know, prepare themselves to appear in, in one of the interest types of the agency. One more thing I could add in it, that whenever you've been appearing for any entrance test, what matters the most is the time management. At times, you know the thing, but you've been spending a more time on a question. For example, if it's a 90% in a paper, then try to manage your time according to the situation. For example, if you're bogged down to one person, don't spread external or the extra time to that question. Just leave it, solve another remaining question, and then come back to that question. Else, maybe you've been wasting your time at the time. Yeah. So the time management should be a key for you. For any interest. Uh, let me also add one more thing here. Uh, GIK will conduct computer based examinations for candidates uh, who are applying within Pakistan. 
uh, they need to visit the, one of the uh, designated center centers uh, uh, to be a Jacob search and it will be a computer based examination. Is there any more question with you? Do you have any no, more questions? No, thank you so much. Uh, so I don't know if all kisi many age or cost or the cheese. I'd like to thank uh, you know Tips uh, Management Administration. Tips is it's uh, it's uh, one of the you know largest academies in Pakistan. You guys are doing wonderful work. Um, and you guys are doing students who are here at GIKB. And so keep on doing the good work. And thank you to, for giving us the opportunity to talk to prospective students. Uh, we wish all the students best of luck in their exams, uh, board exams, as well as their entrance tests. And uh, again, use all the avenues, job ko bataya, chat board, bataya, emails, bataya, for if you have any further questions as well. And uh, you know, we hope to continue this relationship with uh, Kips in future years as well. Inshallah, sir. Inshallah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Alafiz. Thank you. Thank you.